Audio Jungle. <laughs> You heard the beautiful sound. You heard the roar of beautiful creature. This is the wonderful and excellent creation of God over this earth. And a 99% wild animal scared of him because this creature is called the king of jungle. Because this creature is a king of jungle. That is why he is in a position to dominate the other species other animals this creature maintain and sustain the food cycle of the forest just imagine that you are in a deserted place and you are in a lonely place and at that time you heard the roar of these creatures just imagine about your situations just imagine the shuddering of your body right this is really the wonderful creations this is really the wonderful creature because this is the pride of jungle. This is the splendor. This is the grandeur of the jungle. Yes, dear student, welcome back. Today, I'm here with you again with new video. Today, we are going to talk about tiger. This is your lesson number two. So here, this lesson has been written by Ramaswamy Krishnamurti, the better known by Kalki. Ramaswamy Krishnamurti was a great Indian writer, philosopher, critic, journalist, activist and many more. And here in this lesson, he is trying to tell us something about a man who is known by the name Tiger King. See, the king of Pratiban Puram and his full name. He was the king of Pratiban Puram state. He ruled this state and his full name was just see the list of his name. M-A-D, A-C-T-C, Jang Jang, you know, uh, Jilani Bahadur and uh, Bhuvan Samrat, Maharaja, Dhiraj and many more. Just see the list here. Right? Here Kalki in the, uh, the Swami, Krishnamurti was very much determined to tell something about this man. He said that he was the great personality and he was the man with whom everyone desired to meet physically. But here at the onset, I want to tell you the same way as Bharat said to his brother Rama about the Dashra that this king, the great soul is no more in this body has already gone to that beyond. The same way here, Maharaja is no more here in this spot. But introductions and the life of this king is extraordinary. So here, I want to tell you at the onset that his life is extraordinary. How? Dear student, I want to tell and I want to introduce this king. How there was some exciting, miraculous, and wonderful about his life. See, astrologers' predictions, how it affects his life. See, as soon as Prince born, astrologer made prediction about his life. While he was doing his predictions about the life and death of this prince, the 10 days old prince starts talking. Why? What was happened? And what that particular thing he said that he has to, he has to, you know, start talking at that time. While astrologer was making the prediction about his library, he said that he, one day prince has to die, one day king has to die. At this, this 10 years, you know, din ka chota sa jo balak hai, what the hell are you doing? Kya bol rahe ho you know, anyone who is here in this world has to die. One day, later on, Sunamura has to die. Harabi ko jo hai, usko jana padega ek din. There should be sense in it. So he was so much transpicked. Everyone who was there at that time, astonished, amazed to see this. Because this was a miracle that only the 10 days old. Right, boy can speak. Not only that, but also he is raising some intelligent questions in front of the astrologers. He said that there should be some in it. And finally, he said that, because predict his death. He said that, if you insist me to tell him that, why I'm telling so? Let me tell you that Prince has born under the bull star and the star. You know, bull and tigers are enemy of each other. So his death will come from 
tiger side do you think that he got scared by hearing the word tiger ulta das din ke ek matr bachche ne usko ulta ye bola ki bhi us tiger ko keh dena ki mujhse sabdhan rahe he was growling at this right that was something very much miraculous exciting and wonderful when he was just a boy and a child of 10 days old and after what there was no such miracle everything was normal in his life now see the rumor ripe in pratibhan band puram you know there were many people who were talking continuously about this rumor but maharaja was unaware of it because in the meantime see he was growing up in the english environment he was taking the educations from english the people he was taking the milk uh, from uh, you know english yo kao hoti thi everything the way other prince of the india were doing bhi isi tarah ki uski bhi parvarish ho rahi thi and slowly right to the come prediction in his mind as people were talking about all this so slowly this prediction came in his mind that yes now he was in a stage that he could start and he could take the charge of his state but he refused to take it he banned the killing and hunting of tiger in his state for others why so you know first of all he want to save himself because he want to prove that astrologer prediction is strong right now here the very interesting things happened with him by banning and by refusing the hunting for other in his state pratibandh puram state right he stood in danger because of the british because the british was so much interested to kill and to hunt the tiger not only that but also they were so much interesting to brandishing their gun over that dead beast you know mare hue you know beast ya jungli jo unhone maar raha hota tha uske upar photo lene ka bada shauk tha and he said that we okay actual killing of maharaja aap hi kariye but photo hum lenge iske upar here again the maharaja refused to do all that he said that i will manage the kind of uh, hunting for you but i can't give you permissions to kill and to make hunting here in my forest and after killing the first one he was very much thrilled very excited that i have killed the first tiger right he sent for the mahara uh, astrologer astrologer ko bulata hai ki just see that i have killed now i am safe astrologer change it was a great irony that he changed his prediction although he had made his predictions that raja will be killed with the hand of tiger but it was maharaja here who has killed the first tiger raja the same way you can kill the 99 tiger but you have to be very much careful about the 100th one here maharaja bola agar maine 100va bhi maar diya to what will you do he said that i will chop off my you know meri jo दाढ़ी है ना मैं इसको मडवा दूंगा आई विल सेट फायर ऑन माई एस्ट्रोलॉजी बुक एस्ट्रोलॉजी की जो मेरी बुक्स है आई विल सेट दम यू नो फायर उसको मैं जला दूंगा एंड आई विल बिकम एन इंश्योरेंस एजेंट इट वॉज यूर ए ग्रेट ट्रेजडी हियर द एंगेश हियर दैट ही किल द इनोसेंट एनिमल जस्ट टू प्रूव एस्ट्रोलॉजर उसको झूठा किसी तरह से साबित करना था राइट नाउ हेयर ऑल द टाइगर सी the kid all the tiger in his own state apni state mein usne sare ke sare jo tigers the he has killed now almost 70 tiger killed in his own state and later he ordered the diwan and he is minister to arrange some girl especially of those state which possessed large number of tigers so that he could complete the tally of 100 so here married to a princess because unhe ek appropriate ladki mil gayi thi and whenever he went there ki jab bhi wo wahan pe gaya right he killed almost 3 to 4 5 6 bhi kabhi kabhi maar deta tha and that way he completed the tally of 99 tigers so what is next now right 99 tiger killed ab kya right ab ek ek only one more needed to the 100 right Order the minister to find one more. He order the minister to find one more. Otherwise, you will lose your services. Be to mafi nokriya ho doge. So they were in dangers, and he has already in his rage. I mean, itne gusse ki apni extreme, you know, charam seema mein wo pahunch chuka tha. He has already double the taxes in many other villages. 
right on already many uh, official has lost their jobs divan brought a tiger from a zoo and left that tiger in front of the king where he has pitched his tank to kill the tiger and haunt the tiger along with his official and minister and very next day when he saw that tiger in front of him when he was wandering there as he is ready to take the command from maharaja ऐसा लग रहा था भाई महाराज से कमांड चाहिए उसको क्या दी महाराज मुझे क्या करना है राइट ही वाज वांटिंग लाइक दैट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द किंग महाराज वाज वेरी हैप्पी ही वाज यू नो हिज इलेक्शन वाज लिमिटलेस और खुशी से वो तो मानो पागल हुए जा रहा था सो ही टारगेटेड दैट बीस्ट एंड राइट बुलेट उसको मार देता है गोली मार देता है एंड दैट टाइगर वाज फेंटेड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट बुलेट राइट दैट इट हैज शुड पास फ्रॉम द वेरी क्लोज टू हिज इयर यू नो कान के पास से ही उसे जाने की वजह से बीजिंग साउंड ऑफ दैट बुलेट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इच ही फ्रेंटेड ही थॉट दैट द टाइगर इज केल बट इट वॉज केल्ड बाई द सोल्जर एंड केल्ड बाई द ऑफिशियल ऑफ किंग लेटर बिकॉज दे वर आर फ्रेड ऑफ लूजिंग देयर जॉब इफ दे कम टू नो अबाउट दैट टाइगर पॉज अ लाइफ कि वो जिंदा था इस बारे में उसे पता ना उन्होंने मार दिया एंड एज पर ऑर्डर एज पर कमांड ऑफ द किंग दे ब्रॉड दिस बेस टू द कैपिटल विद ग्रैंड फ्रेशस आफ्टर किलिंग द हंड्रेड टाइगर ऑल दो ही हैज किल्ड नाइनटी नाइन टाइगर बट इट वॉज राजा हु थॉट दैट आई हैव किल्ड हंड्रेड टाइगर राइट now he has taken the charge of his state and he is taking care of his son after some time some time there was uh, his son's birthday third birthday and on this occasion right he bore a wooden tiger to his son it was built up and made up by some unskilled carpenter but here shopkeeper misguided the king by saying that it is a great example of a carpentry so he brought it right although he has not given anything you know as a amount usko kuch diya nahi tha he said that this will be the uh, the gift we have of you to my son okay as it was made up by unskilled carpenter there was so much a uh, sliver over its external portion and that's out portions and one of that sliver get into his finger and uh, get infected right not only that finger but also the whole hand and after four days and within a week infection spread all over in his arm and because of that some surgeons had to brought from the madras and they operated on it and they come out of the operation theater with declaration that operation is successful and maharaja is dead in this way wooden tiger took the revenge of all those 99 tigers right and at the end of this lesson we can say that how astrologers sayings prove true but it's a great irony with this statement how initially he changed his statement and his predictions that you can kill 99 tiger the same way you have killed the first and here irony is here with the king who without applying his wisdom killed the innocent 99 tiger and here is a great irony with this burun tiger who took the revenge upon this right ye jo unskilled carpenter ke dwara banaya hua burun tiger hai wo un sabhi 99 tiger ka badla usse leta hai so dear student i would like to tell you that don't kill the innocent animal for personal pleasure there is no wisdom to kill the innocent animal because this is our treasure this is our pride so you should preserve you should protect and you should respect all those things so very soon i'll meet you in the next video with questions and answer